Anyway, there's hole in the ground. Actually could be called and should be called hole in the wall. But um, the opening is in the side of the cliff, but the, uh, the hole, it does go straight down. It's a perfect cylinder of a tree that got encased by the lava and the tree rotted away. And it used to be like 100 feet deep and the people filled it up over the years because kids kept falling in. So it's filled up, you know, it's, it's about 10 feet deep and filled solid. But that's the mystery of a uh, hole in the ground. It does exist. There's probably a couple more tree casts, you know, one, two, maybe three, maybe not, but, but this one is. That is a tree cast, including one of the branches, and plus I took pictures uh, of the inside that shows the bark on the whole bit. I just thought of something. This one here could be the bottom, the trunk area, and that could be the top. That could be the top. This this could be the, the same tree. After all, it's only 30 feet across the road and the trees get to 60, 70, 80 feet tall. Maybe, maybe not. But maybe that and that are the same tree. You see, that that is still the wood. The wood itself, because they can take a rock and and knock on it, and you can you can tell that you're see this stuff here. You you can tell the feeling is like kind of mushy wood, like decayed wood. In this case, about uh, let's see, 15 million years old. <clears throat> it's about a foot across, and. To me, it appears that the uh, the wood is still in it. The camera now is uh, 12 inches away from it, from where it ends. Now, either that's rust from the basalt, or the wood is still in it. Decomposed wood is still in it. But it is a tree cast. And there's, you know, there's one of the branches. Here's, you know, maybe some more or whatever. But that's what it is. And maybe there's... There's one there too. There's probably dozens of them, but this, this one is very prominent.